Hi, welcome to Revival Cycles Tech Talk. I'm Stefan, and today we are talking about handlebar switches. So we've got two different systems. Uh, there's the M-Switch and the M-Switch Mini, both by Moto Gadget. And the M-Switch is based on the same little momentary contact push button. Uh, this is normally open, which means when you push it, the switch is closed. And it's got two screw terminals on the back to make connecting your wires very easy. The threads on this are M12 by 1.0, so if you wanted to install this in a custom application of your own imagination, just tap a hole, uh, M12 by 1.0, and this will thread right in. These switches are all IP65 rated, that means they're splash waterproof, so you can spray it with a hose, get rained on, whatever, but probably not going to work if you want to drive underwater. So the basic options are to start with just a raw switch and from there you can move up to a single switch kit and that has a little tab that you can mount just by running an M6 bolt through or a quarter 20 and that gives you a secure mounting so you can just connect this to your bike. This also comes with a little threaded um, housing on the back and that's CNC machined aluminum so it's nice and pretty and it looks a whole lot better than wires coming off of these terminals. So that's a nice option for an exposed housing of a single switch, very simple to install. Moving up from there, you get a two button housing. This clamps onto your bars the same as any other switch housing. And finally, there's a three button housing. Now with all of these, they are all set up just the same with a threaded switch. And that means if for your application, you wanted to have black switches on a polished housing or polished switches on a black housing, just to meet your style, that all works out just fine. So with this three button housing, there was one thing that I found really kind of surprising when I first got my hands on one, and that is it uses only one mounting screw. Normally these kinds of uh, devices have two and that keeps the pressure evenly distributed, but this one just has one mounting screw. So I didn't think that was gonna work very well and it's not the best, but it does actually work and it works pretty well. So when you install it, just put a bit of pressure on the top of that housing as you tighten the lower screw, and that will keep this from opening up and creating a gap. And it does work. It's surprising, but it does. Anyway, so let's take this apart and we can take a look at some of the other hardware that comes with this. So in this little baggie, we get a couple of things. There's these little eye terminals and a couple of small screws and some people don't know what these are for. The intention for these is to create a ground connection. So what you would do is add a wire from each terminal or one terminal from each switch to this little eye ring terminal and then that gets screwed down to this housing. The idea there, you've got a path to ground through this eye terminal into the housing, into the handlebars, into the triple clamp, into the bearings and then into the frame. That's not a very direct path, and I don't like ground paths that kind of wander around that much. It leaves too many opportunities for error and doubt when you're troubleshooting. So when I do a wiring job, I always run a wire all the way from ground up through into the handlebars and all the way to the switch. One wire into the bars, and then from there, that's where I'll splice out into the five, six, four, however many wires I need to address each switch individually. And that's pretty much the uh, rundown on the M switch. Now the M switch mini is a three button design that has a housing clamp similar to the two and three button on this side. Of course, there's two mounting button or mounting screws on the back and three buttons across the front available in black or polished. And the black does have a nice little uh, machined reveal to give a little bit of an accent. The tactile quality of all of these buttons is actually very good and it lets you know when you've actuated it and with these little mini buttons you even get an audible click. These are also IP65 rated, again, splash water is fine but don't take it swimming. The um, wire comes out through the center and it's potted so it's completely waterproof and secured and that means you drill a hole in your bars and route the wires through there. One neat thing about the way these are designed is that you can combine them together on one side of the bike to have a cluster of six switches or independently you could have one on each side of the bike butted up to your grips or your uh, clutch perch and that way you can maintain sort of the usual arrangement of controls with you know starter, turn signal, high beam on one side and then horn and everything else on the other. 
or if you want to be a little bit more adventurous, put them both on one side, it makes the wiring a little bit easier, and then you only have wires coming off of one half of the bars. And the last thing to really note about these M-Switch Minis is the ampacity, the, the current carrying capacity of these switches. Being that they're so small, they really can't handle a lot of current. The limit for these is 0.05 amps, that's 50 milliamps. That's really not much at all. And that means that these need to use a secondary switching device, either an M unit, a relay, or some other solid state switching switch control that we don't know about. With these uh, M switches, you are able to switch two amps, and that is enough to power a horn or a starter solenoid um, or other devices directly. You don't have to run these through a secondary, but really the way these are designed being momentary contacts, they really work best with an M unit. All right, and we're back with Pyro. Uh, we wanted to bring in this bike to show how these look when they're actually installed on the bars. We've got two M switch three buttons installed, one on the right, one on the left. And this illustrates kind of what I was explaining earlier, where when you install these, you do end up with a very slight gap on the top of the switch. Um, that is just a cosmetic issue, and you'll find that these don't really slide or slip on the bars. They actually clamp really well, and in all the years we've had this bike up and running, that has never been an issue. And honestly, after you quit paying attention, you don't even notice it. Um, all in all, the M-Switch line is the best set of buttons that we've come across in the marketplace. Uh, between the waterproof, uh, the tactile feel, the build quality, etc., there really isn't anything that we've found that works better than this, and that's why we use these on all of our builds. Um, if you've got any questions on your applications, send us an email, give us a phone call. We're always here to help and we want to see you get your bike on the road. Thanks for watching.